Welcome guys. Now I have a different kind of video for you today. We are going to be spectating and we are currently not on. We are currently going to be spectating the spectating the Dark Seeker. 500k on Darius. He's currently Diamond 5, I believe. And we're going to be seeing if there's anything he's doing wrong, anything and all the things he's doing right. Welcome Hopefully he's going to be dunking room. away like like we all should be on a pain Darius. So, interesting. I don't actually know how to work, how to work all this shit. There we go. No, no, that's not. There we go. All right, okay. So, he started Corruption Pot. Jograph is gone. The Duin's Ring. Interesting shit. All right. It's not actually that interesting. It's next up level we'll invade there from J4. Nice. Pointless damage for no reason. It's like the rest of these guys are. Holy shit. Alright, Cho'Gath, so, Cho'Gath is one of those really annoying champions, First, he's easy yeah. to beat in lane, oh wow, Minions rewind, the fuck happened here, oh, uh, what an idiot, what, what is he, what the fuck is that guy fucking doing, must have had lag, holy shit, <laughs> there you go, there's uh, first blood out, out of the way. So, Cho'Gath. So, Cho'Gath is one of these really annoying champions. For me, when I play him in lane, I normally beat him. Uh, because he's not a particularly hard champion to go against when you're playing Darius. But, um, late game, he becomes this monster, uh, unkillable god. Uh, you know, and he provides pretty good... Uh, his kit is pretty good for the team. So, it'll be interesting to see late game what happens and... It'll be interesting to see early game and see if he really does really batter this um, Cho'Gath, which I have full faith, faith that he will. Getting that first wave out of the way. I'm loving it, dude. I'm loving it. Good CS and skills. Unlike me. He's going in for it. Is he going to pop the corruption pot? He's popped the corruption, corruption pot. He cancelled his auto and he lost the trade. I've done that on many occasions. I cancel more autos all the time. It's probably the reason why I miss so much CS. Oh, oh, that's not good. Oh, he missed the E. And he has to pop Ghost. Whoa. Next up, shit. He's going to stay in lane, which is good. Unlucky, dude. He's doing the right thing, he, you know, he's staying away. He's, he's just backing off because he doesn't want to take too much damage or anything. Because he's got no more pots left. He's got one. He's already got, he's got one, one pot. He can land an occasional Q. It's always good. Oh, you just queued, does he? It's an interesting knock up by Chogath there. I don't know whether that was a trying to go for Darius there, but that was a miss and a half. So, Hecarim is currently getting his red. This would be a really good opportunity for him to come up. Because of where the wave is, here, it's perfect. Hecarim can just come around here. Boom. E into the E in here. Although, Darius doesn't have any sums, but Hecarim will. And, you know, he's got red. No, he hasn't got red. Why hasn't he got red? He's at the top. He doesn't have red, so I don't think they're going to pick up a kill here. They might pick up a kill. I'm pretty certain they're not going. We're interested to see what happens here. So Hecarim's going in. Boom. No slows. Going to land the E. Not going to land the E, and nothing is going to get blown here. Oh. Choga's made a mistake, and he has to flash out there. Nice pull by Darius. He is forced to flash away. Spam that emo, dude. Spam that emo. Chegas is going to stay in lane. Pretty sensible. And Darius is going to back off. How much? He's got 860 gold. And he's decided to stay. Very risky. He hasn't got any wards on the map. Pretty certain. 
No wards on the map. Has he got a ward? He has one ward. There we go. Good lad. Good lad. Alright. So he's going to go back. He's got 1,015 gold. He's going to pick up a room crystal. He's going to pick up... Um, uh, oh no, he's going to stay. <laughs> he might be able to pick up a phage after getting this, this wave. How much has he got? 1,000. He won't get... I don't think he'll get phage off this wave. I'm not sure though. Yeah, he'll get phage off this wave. Maybe. What is that? 20 gold? What are these ones worth? No, he's not gonna get phage off. Oh! Oh! No, he will. No, he will. He just needs to get a few. So that's cool. So he can go back. He can pick up a phage. Um, he might pick up a Spectre's Cow. Some people do that. He might pick up Boots and then uh, build the, the, uh, the before items for Phage. Because I've seen that too and I sometimes do that. It depends if you if you get relentlessly ganked then getting Boots is pretty decent. But he's not getting relentlessly ganked. And I think J4 is looking to come up. Has he got a red? He hasn't got a red. So this is not going to be the death of Darius here. He has ghost up. Alright. I think he's gonna look he's gonna get boots as well as Phage, which is really good. <coughs> can he get boots as well as Phage? Yes he can. Good shit. So he's gonna probably pick up boots and phage. Uh and a big cord probably. Or control ward, whatever you call it. Oh, he hasn't got enough. Right. Hey, there you go. Good man. Nice, nice. Alright, what did the Cho'Gath pick up? So, he picked up a Catalyst. Pretty standard shit, if you ask me. That's a, It's a pretty good item, because he's never really going to run out of mana if he's taking damage from Darius all the time. Because you get mana back for the damage you've taken. Um, and, you know, you, you get health back for using abilities, but... Then again, it's not really as, as effective on Cho'Gath because, you know, you can't really spam his abilities out as much as he fight. So, really, this is more, more of a farming lane. And as you can see, Cho'Gath is getting pretty heavy on the tankiness, on the HP side of things, anyway. And oh, Darius has decided to go in here. And this is a good fight. If you can get five stacks, you change the... Oh, Whoa, that was some lovely fucking bomb throwing by Ziggs there. Are they going to pick this up? Darius does not have dunk, but five stacks comes out, and that is the death. But it is stolen by this little rat. Oh, I love it, dude. I fucking love it. Jesus. That's tilt worthy, dude. That is tilt worthy. Especially when you spam your emo, you're like, shit, yeah, this fucking... This motherfucker's gonna die from bleed. Sweet, spam my emo, fade away. And then all of a sudden, BOOM! Someone fucking chaoses you. Cunt. Alright, so he's gonna go back into the top lane here. No need to go back. I mean, he's only got 7, 8, 8. No. Ward the blue. Alright. So, Chogav's not going to go back anytime soon either, because he's just. He's got the goal. This is not looking good for Chogav there. If he can dodge some of the. Oops. Whoa. But it doesn't matter. He loses the trade to the minions, but it doesn't matter because he's forced him out of lane. Because Chogav is, is going to go back. He can't buy anything apart from boots. No, he can't buy boots. Maybe a uh, cloth. Darius is going to go back and he's going to pick up a two swords. Sweet. His ult's coming back up. So he'll probably look for an engage on Cho'Gath. If he's given an opportunity for mid, he could roam mid. At this stage, really, it's more, more farming. Get into that late game. Get into that mid game. 
Popping off, dude. Popping off. Dunking away. See what's going on in the bot lane. I'm pretty certain this is going to be a farming lane. If we miss anything, I'll be rewind. Oh! And that's some interesting shit. What is this dude doing? Gives away first blood and almost costs himself another death. Wow. Interesting. Very, very interesting here. j looking for something. He's got no mana. That's really interesting again. But he's got the red buff and that's all he needs. The team is there to back him up and this is going to be the death of Ziggs. This is not going to be the death of Ziggs. I was wrong. Ekrim was looking jinx here. Just couldn't really pick it up. All got in the way. Let's go back to the top lane where they're just farming away. No skirmishes since I left. Which doesn't matter. Chogav's not particularly worth a lot now. You know, he got a kill on him. Oh no, he doesn't have a kill on him. <laughs> and it looks like it is Aldrich for the red team. Red team has slain the dragon. So it's going to be really hard to kill this. He did pick up a cloth. Yeah. So it's going to be really hard to kill this Jogab now. And he, he'll probably end up building Rod of Ages. And then afterwards he'll probably go Frozen Heart. And that's, again, you know, more of a cock block for Adarius, really. It's reducing your attack speed. And this... Oh, that was so close. If he would have landed that pull, definitely would have died. Or at least got a uh, flash. He's got flash up. Yeah, he's got flash up. Maybe he wouldn't have killed. So that's ghost down. But a worthy blow for the ghost there. That was a good engage. Gave J4 a run for his money. Showing him who's boss. J4 gets away again. This guy is a slippery motherfucker. Chogath's coming around. Is he going to get caught out here? That was a guess of whether someone was in that bush and he was right. Alu goes to Hecarim. Alright, so, what's his gold like? He has enough gold to get. I, I believe... Uh, Black Cleaver will now be 1,500 for it to pick up, so I'm pretty certain he can wait for that. Yeah, he can. I think it's 1,500, I'm not sure. That's nice, that's nice. So it's really good farming here. He's doing good, he's doing good. 12 minutes, 101 CS, really, really good CS again. So much better than I ever do. Jesus. So is he going to go back? Or is he going to stay? Gonna stay. So, like I said at the start, you know, I predicted it would be like this. You know, maybe a few kills will come out, but it doesn't it matter. It doesn't really matter how far behind this Shogath will be. He'll always be a tank motherfucker in the end. Uh, from feast, he'll play it safe like he is. You know, and, and you just will never be able to kill him. So, it will be a fun. And although he's skirmishing here, it doesn't make much of a difference. This is the most frustrating thing about uh, champs like Togad, is it gets to the point where you can't really do anything. Kastin's coming in here, but he's got no magic resist and he's forced to flash away. A worthy flash, in my opinion, I'm pretty certain he would have died. Might have survived, I'm not sure. He did have his apprehend and his Q. There is two people in the top lane. He can stay. He doesn't have flash, but his ghost up 24 seconds. This is a worthy engage. They're going to go in, but he's got no ghost. He's going to land the dunk. Doesn't quite get land the dunk by the tiniest amount. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. But he gets the kill on the Cho'Gath. There we go, dude. There we go. Pop it off. That's all. That is worthy. This Hecarim doing some work. After getting that tasty first blood from, from Bard, I think it was, in the beginning. 
He's going to head back now, I take it. Oh, he's going to try and take the top. They're going to take the top. Tower. They're going to take the top tower. Or is he sent? Oh, he still has to go on us. Head to steal the red buff. This is not looking good for the blue team. Not going to like it. He's looking very sad. 12 to 3 with a 9k gold difference. 4 power difference. And this red team is doing some work on the blue team. Now he's going to head back. He's got 3k gold. Brilliant. Damn. So he's going to pick up. Um, what's he decided to do? Is he going to pick up. He's gonna pick up chain vest. Now I believe he he um he, he goes easy rot second. Oh, let's think about it. Okay, he changed his mind. He changed his mind. He's gone. No. Cloak. So he goes as easy rot second, and it's really good because of the stats it gives. You know, early defenses for armor and magic resist, the health regen, the um the active is good as anyway because it means you can roam. It means if he puts ZZ Rot now, if he puts ZZ Rot up here somewhere or even just at the tower, you know, he's going to be constantly pushing out and he can roam wherever he wants, wherever he pleases. Gives him a nice armor and magic resist. I think it's 55 if I remember right. It's 55. Uh, the movement speed as well is brilliant. To do here. Chogas can back off with 650 gold. And is he going to be No, he's decided to yeah. push this wave out. So let's see what the vision is like. So they don't, he doesn't know where Cassidy is, nor does he know where Bart is. He doesn't now. He's got Black Cleaver now, which is fantastic against someone like Joe Gather with armor, stacked armor. And he should be able to do a lot more damage now. He's gonna head over here, and he's gonna pick up a kill. Smoothly done there by the Dunk Master in the top lane, roaming around. Beautiful. I'm gonna go help Hecarim get another Drake. And I think this may be GG well played for the team. Red team has slain the dragon. Red team has slain the dragon. Kinda sounds like she's having an orgasm while she's saying it. Anyway, enough of that. So he's got a red buff. He's gonna push bot. Fair enough. Can't say no to farm. This Baron's not up here, so they couldn't go do Baron. So, at the moment, they don't know J4 is blue, and. Interesting. So, they've got decent wardage here, which is really good. And it looks like the blue team have collapsed. Kate, Zillion, and the Hecarim here. This looks like a bad fight. Do you know what? Dunk Master is coming in. He's, has he got Dunk? He's got the Dunk. Decided to back off a little bit there. He's going to go. He's going to get the Dunk. Ooh, he doesn't get the Dunk. Oh, I'm on the edge of my seat right now. He's going to get the Dunk. Boom. Decided not to. Which is actually fine. <laughs> Why waste the Dunk, eh? But it feels good, you know. It just feels good. Even though you don't need to use it, it just feels good to use it. All right. That was a good skirmish there. And it looks like Peril is still going to go in the favour of Red Team. It's going to go to Hecarim. So it went to Hecarim because, you know, Darius doesn't really need it. He's 304. Hecarim really doesn't need it either, but Hecarim is the only person that really is viable on. So. So it went to Hecarim. 
which doesn't really matter. The D-Man does not need a Rift Herald. Simple as that. He did, but he doesn't need it. Alright, so, he's got 2.5k. Sweet. I believe that means he can pick up the ZZ Rot, maybe something else. Let's see what he does. Yep, he picks up the ZZ Rot and he's going to build it into, he's going to build something else. What's it going to be? It's going to start building that young righteous glory that I love so much right now. It does mean that he's going to be demolishing Luki. Probably one of the surviving them at some point. Get absolutely smashed here. The 20 minute mark. Don't see a surrender yet. Be interesting to see if we do. Realize how loud this is. The bad out comes out here, but it's not going to make any difference whatsoever. It's such a waste of a bad out. But it tried it in vain. D-Man just farming away up the top lane. Put the ZZ right down. He's going to be pushing up. The pressure now is unbelievable. And the blue team cannot cope with this. And let's do a little rewind here. And see what happens. The bard with the journey here. But and the Zillion ult comes out. But doesn't need it in the end. This Hecarim is a god. And the blue team are just get absolutely hammered. But Hecarim goes down anyway. I guess at this point, he really should have backed off. But the D-Man, and it's a dunk coming down. He gets the five stacks. He's going to turn on to... He's going to turn on to Cho'Gath. He's going to get the kill. That is a double kill for the D-Man. Spam that emo, dude. I want to see that emo, man. This is absolutely smashing. Take two inhibitors here. Possibly. And there's the surrender. I called it. <laughs> Alright guys, so this is the Dark Seeker. Uh, playing the D-Man in the top lane. He has 500k on Darius. Uh, I might do another spectating of his games. If any of you guys want your game spectated... Then I'll have a look at your um, your profile. If I think that you're enough of a Darius main for me to spectate, then I'll spectate you. And, and um, yeah, so leave a comment if you if you want, and I'll add you, and, and then we can arrange when to spectate. Sweet guys, peace out.